puds. Um, right, um, well, I've got a bit of time this evening, so what I thought I'd do is try out some of the new Directions um, bleaching powder and peroxide mix that I've got. Um, I've got a big bottle of lightning peroxide at 30% uh, 30 volume um, and I got a box full of bleach um, and that um, is 400 grams of bleach so I, I need to do a bit of measuring in order to make this work so I've measured out my bleach in a directions pot I said that were ever so useful didn't I um, so I've got my bleach measured out there. It should be 25 grams. It says 26, but it's roughly the same. And that was actually um, three heaped little spoonfuls. So, um, but I recommend if you've got a little weigher, weigh out the bleach. I don't think the peroxide mix is as much, as crucial, but I would always weigh out the bleach. So, next thing to do is um, to mix roughly between 75 and 100 mills of the peroxide mixture of the lightning mixture in with the bleach powder now what's really brilliant here is that these lovely directions pots hold roughly 88 mils of directions dye so i'm going to fill this up to um just there and i'm going to call that the right amount so there we go, I've got my uh, 75 mils roughly of um, lightning peroxide and roughly 25 grams of bleach powder. And I'm going to mix them together and use them to lighten my hair. Okay, that's my um, bleach solution all mixed up. I actually probably made um, a little bit more than I needed to because I'm only going to bleach um, the front section because I want to change it to being um, wisteria. I have <laughs> um, ripped back most of my hair and I just want to bleach that front section um, and as you can see it's, it's reasonably light anyway um, but I just want to take that colour out a little bit before I put the wisteria on um, which I'm going to do tomorrow so I'm going to bleach it tonight give my hair a wash and a condition and then I'm going to um, do the wisteria on so I'll put the bleach powder on catch you in a minute alright gloves on I'm going to put the bleach on, then I'll come back. All right, my little bit of bleach is on. Um, I could put plenty on. Um, and I, can I just say as well that I found it a nicer consistency than what I've usually been using. Oh, let me see if I can get a better light on there. Which it is um, Jerome Russell B Blonde. I normally use them for bleach, just because it's easy to um, get from everywhere. Um, but yeah, it's a kind of creamier consistency is this so let's see how we go um i've got a uh, development time now just i'm just going to keep an eye on it and check it every five minutes because i don't know how long it's going to be on my uh, old whitish hair right and i'll let you know in a minute okay i loved it about 20 minutes maybe a little bit less um but what i'm going to do is i'm going to take that off now because I don't need it to uh, lift to absolute whiteness. I just want to take out some of the green shade so that when the lilac goes on, it doesn't go woody. So, I think I'm going to take it off now and let's have a look what we've got. All right, see you in a bit. Ooh, just look at that. It's a fabulous lightener. And you know, there's not very much yellow in that at all. So, I don't know whether we've got some magic ingredient that's taking that yellow out or whether it's just done really well on my hair because it is white anyway. Um, but although there's, there's still the blue there, and a lot of that is because um, I, I, I ended up putting little bits of alpine green in there, um, and some of that has stayed a little bit more. But I think that's going to look really good tomorrow when I put that lilac wisteria over it at this front bit here. So overall... I'm really pleased with how that lightener has worked. I, I literally just left it on for about 20 minutes, um, if that. And uh, yeah, great lift. I didn't expect it to lift all the blue. Never does. 
um, but I'm happy with it lifting all the um, lime green out of it and the yellowy shades. So, hey! Morning, puds. Okay, so last night I um, used my new uh, salon sized bleaching stuff from Directions and I just did like a quick bleach for about uh, 20 minutes and here we go it's lifted all the lime out and I know there's still that blue tinge but what you can't see is that uh, actually it's really light under there now the plan was that I wanted to change my front splash um, to wisteria um, so I got a wisteria kit that I showed you the other day oh, part of me um, and today I'm going to put that wisteria on so I've got it here so I'm going to be putting it on that front thing so what I need to do first is grip it all out of the way uh, back in a minute there you go right I'm going to wisteria and be mysterious. See what I did there. Okay, so here we are. Um, it's a kind of uh, bluey colour in there. But I'm hoping that the lilac will come out. I've done my um, smear test there. And I can say, this is probably uh, one of those directions colours that I don't want to mix any conditioner with because I think it's actually quite pastel by itself. So, let's get that on. Okay, we're on. Um, when you put that colour on, um, it looks quite blue. Um, but I believe, because I've read on the Googles, um, that the purple comes out as it did, um, as it's on your hair. And the, the blue part is just a tint and it mostly washes away. But we'll see. Um, but I don't, um, to be honest, I don't mind the blue. Um, I've also like done a teeny bit of uh, stuff here and here, which just should help to make this not look like a big blob of colour. Um, and tie it in with the whole hair. Sorry, sun's come out. I'm a bit blinded. All right, catch you later when it's all developed and I've uh, dried it off. And we're back. I am belilocked. Um, <clears throat> the shade I used is called Wisteria. And I'd say it's like a kind of a, if, if there's such a thing, denim lilac. So it's kind of a, a, a bluey, grayy lilac shade. Um, it's really nice. All right then. So I'm going to put some makeup on and I'll catch you later. And we're back. Sorry about the traffic noise. I've got the window open because the warmth has finally hit us here in Manchester. Um, the sun hasn't yet, but the warm is here. So I've got the window open. So I've got this lovely um, shade in my hair at the front now, my splash as I call it. So my splash now is in the shade Wisteria from Directions and uh, yes I really like it it's a really delicate sort of um, lilac -y blue um, and like I said before it's got a kind of a denim -y purple look um, so I've got my tie-dye top on I've got some nice earrings that I've got all those shades in I've got those um, lilac -y shades at the top there and then some of the green shades that are still in there fading out um, alpine green so yeah I'm really pleased I've got similar shades on my eyes and of course I use this palette because my hair is just totally made for it at the moment and this is the rumour has it palette from Colourpop right I will do some posy shots and I'll see you later puds bye <laughs>